Hey, welcome back to recipe of the day. You know, I saw this recipe and just knew I had to make it. We're going to a party um, right now shortly. So I'm throwing this in the oven to take for my appetizer. It is whipped goat cheese with dates and bacon. I mean, who else loves bacon wrapped dates like I do? Oh my gosh, I love them. So I saw this recipe and knew I had to try this. So we're gonna start here. I have eight slices of bacon here. I just chopped them across lengthwise and put them here on a sheet pan, of course, with some parchment for easy cleanup. And we're gonna spice them up a little, little bit here. I'm gonna put half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, cause you know, who doesn't like a little spicy here? So I'm gonna spice them up a little bit. Oh my gosh, looks smells good already. And then I have about one tablespoon of brown sugar here that I'm gonna just sprinkle over. Quick and easy. And then I have some fresh thyme. The recipe called for rosemary, but I don't have any. So I'm going with thyme because that's what I had. I think I'm gonna need a little more. So I'm just gonna give my little thyme here a little haircut. Can you guys see my thyme? I'm just gonna cut a little bit off here and throw it on here. I'll pull the stems off once the, the herbs are used, but I would definitely want that flavor in there. And then we're gonna add, um, a little bit of honey. Wee! Kind of like the hot honey thing, but we're making it live. So there we go. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put this in the oven. It's 400 degrees and let it get started. And then we're gonna whip the goat cheese. So let's stick this in the oven here and let that get started. And in the meantime, we're gonna make our base for this, which I've got my plate here. We're gonna put it on here and serve it on here. So into my bowl here, I have a 10 ounce log of room temperature goat cheese. So let's get this going in here. Don't you love, love goat cheese? Just goes with everything. But it's got a little tang that is just yummy and it's better than just using pure cream cheese. But of course, we're gonna use some cream cheese. So I'm using half of a square of cream cheese softened. The other half I'm actually gonna to use to make the icing for my gingerbread cinnamon rolls that made the other day. Those are for gonna be yummy. So in here, we're gonna start whipping. And to that, I'm gonna add just a tablespoon or two of olive oil, just to give it a little, let it give it something to mix, to mix it up and a pinch of salt. I'm using Malden flake salt, just a pinch. And we'll let that whip, 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 whip. Oh my gosh, yum. In the meantime, the dates, which we're gonna use the dates here, I'm gonna put them on the bacon pan here in a minute. Here they are all chopped. But I just took a date. Of course, I bought them already. Um, the pits are out. I bought them at Winco in the bins and they come already pitted, which is awesome. And. Uh, that down a little bit so you can hear me. This is already pitted. I cut it across like this and then cut it that way so that each date made about eight pieces because I'm going to serve it on toast. So I don't want the date pieces to be too big or they're going to fall off the toast. So we don't want that. So here is our goat cheese, cream cheese mixture. I'm going to scrape it down here. Oh my gosh, it smells so good already. I love goat cheese. Get my goat cheese off my whisk here, off my paddle. And this just sounded so good. So once the bacon starts to get cooked, uh, about halfway or so, I will add the dates on there. The recipe said, I read all the reviews, of course I always do, before I try something new. And the reviews um, said not, the recipe said to put the dates on with the bacon when you start the bacon the bacon, but the review said the dates get too hard. They get too cooked when you put them on at the same time. So I'm gonna let the bacon cook about halfway and then put the dates on to get all nice and warm. Okay, this looks delicious. So let me get it on my serving plate here. Pull it over here and we will get it on the plate. I think I'll put it a little bit to the to the side here so I have a place for my crackers. I'm gonna serve this with sliced baguette. I'm gonna to toast right before I go. And then I bought some little crackers that look so good. Um, 
I'll show you if I had them at my fingertips, but they're like little biscotti crackers that have nuts in them. And uh, I bought the, I think I bought the pistachio ones. So they will be very good. So some baguette toasted with this and some little fancy crackers that looked good. So I'm gonna make this, I guess I could have made it a Christmas tree shape too since we're in the se this season, but I'm just gonna spread it and make it kind of a disc shape here. And then I have room on my platter here for my crackers and bread once I get the dates and the bacon are gonna go on top once they're cooked. So pretty simple, easy, and I know it's gonna be delicious because who doesn't love bacon wrapped dates? I love them. <laughs> so let me, um, I will show you here in a second when I pull the bacon out, we're gonna put the dates on and we'll go from there. Okay, the bacon has been in the oven for a few, mi few minutes, so I'm gonna pull it out here and add the dates to our pan. So let me grab the bacon. And oh my gosh, you can see the, whoops. You can see the, it's getting nice and crisp. And it looks like that brown sugar is browning up here. Oh my gosh, smells so good. It's the thyme and the bacon. So I'm just gonna spread this out a little bit, flip it over. So I want the bacon to be crisp. And now we're gonna add the dates here for another, oh, five minutes or so until the bacon's done. So I'm gonna take the dates and sprinkle them over here. Oh, dates and bacon, yum! So there we go, we've got our chopped dates. Bite for me, yum. Okay, I'm gonna mix those up into the bacon grease and stick them back in for Oh, five minutes or so till that bacon is nice and crispy. Stay tuned. Okay, I've taken our bacon and dates out of the oven and I let them cool off just slightly because uh, it's just gonna melt my goat cheese if I put them on all the way hot. But does not look delicious? Oh my goodness. Basically have candied bacon and dates here that we're gonna put on top of our goat cheese and cream cheese that we whipped here. And this is just gonna be epically delicious. Yum. This looks amazing, doesn't it? Oh my gosh. Looks like we got plenty of bacon and dates here. But we're just gonna pile them on there. And I will make them look a little prettier here. <laughs> We got a lot of them here. Get them all on the pile. Oh my gosh, they're warm and soft. The dates are nice and soft. Oh yes, looks amazing. And then I will put, um, I have a little bit of thyme here. Uh, fresh thyme I'll put on top just for a little bit of a garnish. And I'm gonna put a, just a sprinkle of Malden sea sea salt on top for a little sprinkle of salt. And then I'm serving it here with these noni cranberry, they're cranberry, not pistachio, crackers here, these look good. And then I also here have a tray, I'm gonna toast these real quick, these toasts, so I'll put the toast here. And then I have these cute cranberry crackers here. And there we go, whipped goat cheese with bacon um, for our yummy appetizer we're gonna be taking to a party. So thanks for watching. You know, we have lots of great ideas and this one I think is gonna be easy and delicious for your next party.